Yo guys, what is going on? Zaces here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the GearHead ICR7 Mastercraft that just came out in Blackjack Shop. It is a three-tier special order that's going to cost you 1,900 comp points if you want to pick it up. That is 19 bucks, roughly 20. So we're going to hop right into it. We're going to check out the visual stages, then hop into a bot lobby and check out some of the visual stages on the gun and some gameplay. So right now we are looking at the start of the game stage of the GearHead. So I want you guys to know that there is something very, very important to note here, and I'm going to show you in-game and right now when we're looking at it. So we have just three or four pistons moving in the back there. We've got four different pistons, it looks like, just kicking behind on the rear iron sight there, which is pretty dope. That is a constant moving thing, but that is the only thing that moves on this gun in the first stage of its Mastercraft. Moving on to the five kill stage, we have this flame running down the back of the weapon. We have some electrical current running through the top where the um, iron sight would be, the front iron sight, and it is a blue current, and then we have some, like, gemstones or teeth near the magazine. Now, one thing I want to tell you guys is those teeth, or whatever they are, you cannot actually see them in-game, which is kind of upsetting. I'll show you guys what I mean. There's actually, like, this giant gear head. The gun is called gear head. There's actually a head there in that spot, and your hand of your player or your character is actually blocking it as they hold the magazine. So, we have the final stage of the ICR-7 Gearhead Mastercraft. And you can see that electrical current has turned to a green and purplish. The flame on the gun has turned to a blue. There's a little bit of green thrown in there as well. And the teeth or stones are a blue and purple pulsating color. It looks really dope. I like it a lot. But I want to show you guys this head that's actually on this gun. Um, as you can see... It blocks a good portion of those stones at the bottom. It has the head there along the magazine. I don't know if that's just because of FMJ. Um, it is not. I know that changes the magazine a little bit. But I'm going to show you guys what this looks like in game. I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so we are going to take our first look at the ICR7 Mastercraft of the GearHead. And here it is. This is the first stage of it. You can see that giant head there on the gun along with where your hand is. It's going to cover up those stones or those teeth. So, it's kind of upsetting that you're not going to see that in game. I'm not sure if you see it on the reload or not. We'll check that out very, very shortly. But, let's get five kills real quick and check out the first visual stage. It's where we get the just normal flame and stuff starts to get uh, the small electrical current on the top of the gun. So, we'll get to see the very oh basics God. of it and then we'll get that second stage in just a moment. Now, one thing I want to say about this Mastercraft is I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like there is a touch more kick on this Mastercraft. It just feels a little different. I don't know if that's just me, but it just feels like there might be just one touch extra bit of recoil involved. I don't know if there anything was changed in the update, but this is the first visual stage. We have that electrical current up top, the main flame going down the gun. Um, as you can see, those stones where the hand is from the character, you can't really see them. You can see them on the very tail end of the inspection of the gun, but you cannot really see it. And even on that reload, you just can't see them, which is very unfortunate to add that detail to the gun and not even be able to see it from that first person perspective. So we're going to check out the last visual stage. It's when the flame turns to blue, which honestly is the coolest part of the Mastercraft. It just, it just looks dope, man. Guys, right after this, we're going to come out with the new specialist gameplay, and then I'm also going to come out with the weaponized 115 gameplay. Um, so stick around on the channel, subscribe if you are new. So we have our final stage here. We're getting naded. Never good. These bots are on another level, man. So we're going to check this out here in the back. These bots are really on another level today, huh? So we got that new current coming up at the top of the gun. It's that green and purplish. It looks super dope. It's one of my favorite parts of it. We have that blue flame coming down the center of the gun with a little bit of green intertwined. Nothing else is really happening on the gun except for those stones. But once again, we cannot really see them because of that giant head in the way. So guys, that is going to do it for the GearHead Mastercraft. I mean, at the same time, you know, I like the refresh of a Mastercraft ICR. It's going to be our second one. But at the same time, I don't know if this is 100% worth the 20 bucks. It's really cool. It's really unique. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it a lot, actually. But is it worth the 20 bucks? I'm not really sure, man. I kind of regret it. A little bit of buyer's remorse. But I wanted to make a video for you guys at the same time. And I use the ICR so much, so it's... You know, you got to add it to the collection. So, guys, that's going to do it for me. Let me know what you th think about it in the comments below. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Turn it to gray and turn notifications on. Check out my sponsors and equipment I use in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm out.